Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I want to introduce you to a modern bonding technique that's um, subtle, simple, but actually super effective. It's called the snowplow technique. And no, it's got nothing to do with like winter roads, but everything to do with better composite restorations. So uh, let's set the stage. You've prepped a class two cavity, you're ready to restore it. And the goal, like always, is tight margins, good adaptation, and uh, minimal polymerization stress. Now, normally you might place a flowable composite liner, cure it, and then add your filled composite in layers. But here's the twist. With the snowplow technique, you don't cure the flowable right away. Here's what you do. After etching and bonding, you add a thin layer of uncured flowable composite to the floor and internal walls. Then, immediately, without curing it, you place your packable composite right on top. And then you cure everything together, flowable and packable, all at once. Why is this beneficial? Okay, so let me give you like a different way to think about it. Imagine spreading butter on warm toast. If you press down with a knife, the butter spreads evenly, right? Filling every groove. That's kind of what happens here. The uncured flowable moves into all the tiny gaps and irregularities just carried by the pressure of the packable composite you place over it. Any excess, it just gets displaced and pushed aside, kind of like butter oozing out. What you're left with is this super thin, super well-adapted layer of flowable composite underneath your bulk fill. Here's what makes this technique uh, pretty special. Better marginal adaptation. The flowable flows into like all the tiny voids and margins that might otherwise be missed. Reduced stress. Since you're curing everything together, the materials shrink and bond as one unit, which uh, helps reduce internal tension at the adhesive interface. Improved seal. Fewer gaps, fewer chances of micro leakage. That's uh, especially helpful in deep boxes where the gingival margins are harder to access. Oh, and here's a tip. This method is really helpful when restoring wide class two boxes or any cavity where it's kind of hard to get access to the internal margins. It makes adaptation easier without needing extra tools or more time. So yeah, the snowplow technique isn't just a catchy name. It's a clinically smart approach that can improve both the performance and the durability of your restorations. If this gave you a clearer picture, give the video a thumbs up and, uh, Subscribe to Dental School for more bite-sized dental concepts. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.